Welcome to the Inner City Improv Jam. I hear a lot of people shouting. I would like everybody right at this minute quickly turn on your camera and wave. Just wave. Yay. All right. Wonderful. Thank you. So what we're going to do now before we start the jam is I'm going to give you a little overview of what is about to come. And so let me share my screen with you. So here you are and at the jam. When you got on, you signed up for either a musical or a non-musical team. When you hear your name called, you are going to turn on your camera and look around at all the people in your set. Look at the other people that have turned on their, your, their camera at the same time, because those are the people you'll be working with. One of you will ask for a suggestion, and then you'll be having a 15 minute montage. And uh, you'll have a lot of time, which is great because there's usually there are about four or five people on each team, which is a really nice number. And we're going to practice right now uh, sweeps and tag outs. So the first thing that if you want to end somebody's scene, you think, well, this scene, it's time for it to end. That was a really good ending. You're going to go, you're going to call sweep. So everybody turn on your cameras and call sweep. Sweep, 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 sweep. sweep. Thank you. And you're not going to say it 20,000 times, sweepy. by the way, just one time. <laughs> But for practice, it's fun. Uh, so the other way to get on into a scene is if you want, you can tag someone out and you can just say tag out. You're going to say their name. They will leave, turn off their camera. You will jump in and you will interact with the person or people that are left on the scene. And uh, you can also tag people in. You can say tag in if you want to tag in the grandma character. You can tag in grandma. Now you will be told by your timer when you have about two minutes left, they'll be holding up their camera so or their phone. <laughs> and so you're gonna know that you have about two minutes left, which means, especially if you're in a musical set, you should try to get in and do a final big number. Hopefully you can get that done. And uh, also try, you can try to find a way to get other people in for that last part of the scene. If it is not your set, please keep your audio and video muted. And if, if it is your set, you can, can leave your audio on if you don't have any background noise, like I do. I need to close that sliding door because I've got airplanes going over, but uh, we will mute you if we notice there's too much noise. So don't feel bad. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna hide non-video participants with your um, video. Make sure that so that you can only see people who are participating. You want to see at the top right corner speaker view, and that will tell you that you're in gallery view. We are striving. We're on live on Facebook right now. So if you have any secrets, they're going to be out there. All right. We have some sensitive topics. Anything political, religion, blue humor, stalking, socioeconomic and cursing. Uh, be careful when you tread these uh, banned topics. No flashing. No, uh, I mean, not real flashing. You could, uh, no rape, kidnapping, miscarriage, suicide, racism, any isms, mental illness, anything that makes a person's identity the butt of the joke is a no no. And, you know, use your common sense. There's more than that. Now, if you feel that this has been violated, you can call it timeout. Personally, I think it is just easier to sweep the scene. And if there is something that you feel that, sensitive about and you want to let us know please feel free to do so you can message me or any of the other volunteers let us know what it is that you feel was inappropriate and that we should look into because we really want this to be a fun and safe space for everybody some tips one person speaking at a time treat each other with with respect uh no group chat no no insults on the chat no trolling use your actual face not a puppet uh, the puppet can be with you and self manage your playing time. So look around at your teammates. If you see that somebody has not come on that's on your set, call them in. Uh, make sure that everybody on your team gets a chance before you go in for a second time. 
Uh, don't worry about the lag. We have an amazing MD tonight who can take care of me. He'll make you sound amazing. And again, when the timer warming comes up, get in there. It's the last scene. And have fun. <laughs> so at the very end, we're going to have a group game. You will find out who our featured troop is for the next week. And we do some chatting, light mingling. Please spread the word. So this gem is free. The only thing we ask is that you tell people about us. So next week, bring a friend and we want to keep this going. We know that things are opening up and so people are being busy and can't always make it. So that's why we want to get some new people coming in so we can keep it going. It's a fantastic it's been a fantastic experience for us and especially for people who don't have their own home theater too. All right. Now, drum roll, please. Our featured headliner for tonight is the Burnett Brigade. Uh, Jen Bianchi, Claire Bidiscombe, and Roxy. And I don't know if the cat's one of them. I don't think so. All right. So, scene. All right. Now, to start, I am going to, to call up our host for team one. Could I have um, Laura Zaro come up? <laughs> um, all right, and she's going to call the people on the team to come up now. So when you hear your name, please come up. Team one, we have David Shapiro from Chicago, Illinois. Woo! Hey. Woo yeah. Mindy Ballantyne from Mendocino, California. Go, oh, Mindy! Kevin Wilcox from New York, New York. Go, Kevin! Woo, 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 woo. And Michael Ostrowskis from San Bruno, California. Go, oh, Michael! Yeah, Michael, Michael, Michael! And we have our timekeeper to keep your eye out for is Brian Sebi. Woo, woo, woo! Team one. Hey, I'm having, hey, we're team one. I'm having a lot of fun changing the color of my light bulbs using my voice. <laughs> Google Home. Uh, what's your favorite color out there? Something weird. Purple. Chartreuse. Per what was the other one except for purple? Chartreuse. Chartreuse. I love chartreuse. I don't know exactly what shade it is. Thank you, chartreuse. Thank you, chartreuse. Love your suggestion of going tagging for our anniversary. Yeah, babe. I just love how you make the smiley faces on the wall. <laughs> Watch this. Here we go. Big eye. Big eye. Big <laughs> smile. <laughs> Nailed it. Well, that's the church done. Should we go downtown? <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. That's. Yeah, we can just walk and talk and three years. Oh. What was that? It's been three years. Three years. Let's cut to the uh, church the very next day, bring somebody else in. <laughs> Oh my God, it's a smiley face, but it appears to be crying. <laughs> yeah, I, I walked by yesterday and it was just smiling. And now today it's crying. I think I, I'm feeling very, very spiritual right now. It's as if it's calling to me, the lights, the lights have just turned chartreuse. <laughs> I, I think this is a sign. I knew I shouldn't have eaten bacon this morning. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're right. You should not have eaten bacon this morning. <laughs> and the frowny face on the church wall 
was made by a couple that was in love. And I'm going to make your eyes see it clearly now so that you can see it smiling. Oh, oh, wait, 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 it's just, it's just vandalism. <laughs> and oh. joy. What the hell? On a, on a church? All right. Kids are getting bored with the existing emojis. We need to come up with a new emoji. Still a face, but doing something different, something exciting. Like, we've got smiling, we've got frowning, we've got that awkward sweat drop one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, well, you know, I mean, kids, 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 uh, they lie a lot. We have a lying emoji. Oh, I love the idea. What would that look like? Like more, maybe a, a, a oh, oh, oh. up and down, or like a maybe. cross fingers behind the back, maybe. Or... Right, right, yeah, yeah like, um... like, here's what the emoji looks like. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. I love that conceptual drawing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tag both out. Bring in somebody new. Nerva. <laughs> so, uh. I got the email you sent around to the company this morning, and mm -hmm. we're not sure what this emoji on it was. <laughs> and the office has broken out into fights over it. Ooh, really? Oh, God. Yeah, we're not sure if you were lying to us or if it was something oh, worse. Oh. What? Oh, oh. God. oh, man. Oh, man. That hurt. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're using the flat screen monitors. Oh, God, I did not. Oh, man. Yes. Yeah, they've been attacking each other. Anyway, the upside of it all is we want you to tell us what you meant by the emoji or we're going to send you back out there where they're all fighting and just have them ask you. Oh, man. Oh, man. It, they, it's devolved into Thunderdome out there. Oh, God. I, oh, well, God. well, that's also partially because it's Taco Tuesday. Oh God! And Taco Tuesday. Oh my God! I just, I just meant it as laugh out loud. You know, you know. Hey, hey. Here's so you're saying a really well emoji is laugh out loud? Well, sorry. I'm out of touch. I don't know. I mean, they keep changing what the the emojis mean. Uh, sweep the scene. Bring everybody in. Okay. So your office has hired me to bring you in to do sensitive training on your emojis that you've been using, okay? We need to understand that sending emojis that look like this can be confusing, okay? They can hurt people's feelings. They can cause riots in the office. Am I right, Kevin? I'd just like to point out I'm vegetarian, but it turns out I've been grossly misusing that eggplant. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yes. And eggplant uh, can mean many different things to many different people, Michael. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not just eggplant. Yeah. No. And yeah, I've been attaching the squid emoji to everything just because, I mean, they're awesome. And I, I have to say, I... I don't want to have to, you know, try it because I, to explain that again and again. Um, Kevin, you are aware that the Squid Games on Netflix is an F rated show, mature audience, like to show a squid in a office. Uh, oh, email, so everybody can... thinks I want to, to like, Kill to them. like wipe right to force everybody in the office uh, i swear i have, i absolutely do not want to do that i mean the last time i ever came close to wanting to do that was 1997 and i uh, no 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 i went through all of the training after that but that does explain why the cops have been coming in here like seven times in the last week. Yeah, there's now a section in the employee handbook that we just call the Kevin section. And it's, yeah, it's yeah. It's about a battle royale within the office and how it's yeah. not allowed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I, I violated it once before. It wasn't fun. 
Yeah, that's also why we're we're not allowed to have specified food days in the office anymore. Yes. I mean, we, 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 if anyone shows up on a Tuesday with a taco. We had to get rid of Thirsty Thursdays, Fry Up Fridays. Some people are lactose intolerant. It's, you know, like, it's not yeah. okay. To, that, to... That's why Milky Mondays went away. Right. 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 You know what? You know, this whole reading that you have us at about our use of emojis. Well, I just think poop. Yeah, that's yeah I did it. Poop emoji. Yeah, poop emoji. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold on. Smiling poop or sweating poop or crying <laughs> poop? I don't know. I don't, don't have the, all those downloaded. I only have the one poop, just the regular poop emoji. Oh, the grinning poop. Yeah, Michael, yeah. Michael, no poop is acceptable at work. Okay, no what poop emoji? is acceptable. No, no. Is, emojis. is that why they had to get rid of the, uh, the employee restrooms? Yeah, it'd, it'd take me 40 minutes round trip to go home to go to the bathroom. You what cannot about, poop at work. No. What about the greater... What about the greater than sign that, you know, as I, as some, I am greater than something. What if that is, you, are you now going to say I can't use that anymore? You cannot use the greater than sign because you are not greater than the whole of the office. Okay. What, We're all equal. What about the semicolon? <laughs> it's not exactly a colon. Is am I, am I, it's am too I, confusing. I, it's oh, too no, confusing. No, you're, you're, yeah. You're, you're also not allowed to have a semicolon since I, I had to have, you know, the, the operation. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Thank you for coming in to discuss your child's grades. I just wanted uh, to clear up any questions you may have had. Uh, for example, Thomasina in English gets a cheeky grin. And in mathematics, a plain old smile. And then in handwriting, kind of a neutral frown. Huh. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means, oh, honey? I know exactly what that means. Neutral frown on handwriting? God. There is room. Damn it. There we've is been, room. We've, honey, we've been working on with Sandy on this all time. Girl. The, there is room for improvement. We are getting near the end of the semester, so I'm thinking from the neutral frown to a more too neutral semi smile. Hey, tag out, Michael. Um, so anyway, uh, we have the results from uh, your daughter's SATs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. right. So in verbal, uh -huh. uh, she got a uh, a happy hedgehog. And in math, it wasn't so great. It, it was kind of a, she got a sarcastic otter. <laughs> she's, she's, dude, late, honey, she's going to have to go to a state college. <laughs> I saw what mm -hmm. that means. <laughs> Come on. You, you, heard what she, you heard what he said? There's, yeah, no, well, I... there's no way that Cornell will ever even consider her with those. I'm sorry. I have to be honest. I got off Twitter. I got off, you know, all, all the TikToks, and so I don't. I, I don't know anymore. This is horrible. This is horrible. Can we right. do anything? Can we do anything for our? Well, daughter? I mean, you you could try to uh, put her into uh, you know a prep program. Uh, there's still two more SAT testing sessions this year, and you know, with some work, she could get those up, possibly as okay. far as um, yeah. you know. Well uh presidential llama or <laughs> even if she works really really hard what's this about getting a presidential pardon is that what you said is that what you no, no no llama llama i've heard about yeah that. the kids it's really, right really back important. in the old scale that was um i believe it was like a 752 wow but if she works really really hard you know, she might be able to get up to ecstatic penguin. <laughs> oh, if only, oh which in God. the old system was a 754. <laughs> Love it. Love it. The whole concept of 
cheating on the AC and the SATs? Is does that still as frowned upon as it used to be? Oh, if, if you're caught cheating, you just get a poop. <gasps> oh God! <laughs> no. That no. I can't. So, okay. Okay. Well, we uh, we were just we were just wondering, honestly. I don't even say that. No. But, uh, honey, I think we need to have a talk with our daughter. Yeah, I think so too. All right. Yeah, I'm 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 <laughs> gonna go. I also I ate the last of your cookies. Hang out, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What is it? I know you uh, had your heart set on uh, Cornell. And Cornell, I mean, you were hoping, you were looking to get that lion on your score. Mm-hmm. Presidential llama. Presidential oh. llama, but no, you had Harry Otter. Harry <laughs> Otter? Yeah. Otters are and so we don't want you to go poop, okay? We don't want you no. to go poop. Don't, don't, don't poop emoji on us. And <laughs> not, we're not doing the lying emoji, this is true. Are we still talking about grades? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well then, but do you want us to cheat for you on the SATs? I got, I got a, I got a giraffe. Your your mother got a porcupine. Between us, we could get you something better. <laughs> I'd love to go to Cornell. They're pioneers in early computer graphics. <laughs> get you a golden unicorn if you promise to keep the poop silent between me and you. Tag out the parents. Oh, <laughs> Bonjour, Madam President of the United States. Uh, <laughs> we're so happy to have you here in our country. However, our intelligence services have learned no. that you lied no. when you were a child on your, um, I believe they're called SATs. <laughs> Really terrible. <laughs> For this, if you want our country to sign the treaty, we are this we're going close to need to some world concessions. Peace. This close. We are going to need America to give us the strawberry emoji. <laughs> our country wants custody of the strawberry. <laughs> America takes pride in the strawberry emoji. No strawberry, no peace. I, I, I'm going to have to talk to all 370 million now. Citizens <laughs> get their opinion. You drive a hard bargain, France. And that's the scene. Yay! Huzzah. Woo! Well done. All right, that was amazing, Team One. Thank you for coming up and cheering them. Uh, that was quite enjoyable. And now I'm worried about my uh, my grandchildren that I don't have SAT. What kind of faces will they have? Um, <laughs> can I get, oh, before we do that, I was gonna call the next team, but I almost forgot. I've got something very important to tell you about. Let me share this screen with you. Uh, it is something that uh, get your get your merch ready, everybody. Not yet, but first, let me show this. When you go to uh, the Etsy shop, we have an Etsy shop, and at that Etsy shop, and I hope I'm sharing that right now. Let me make it bigger. So these are the things you can get on the Etsy shop, and um, in real life, can I have people come up with their Etsy merch, things that they. Yay! All right, we're going to do a little cheer if you've got a mug. Ready? One, two, three. Cheer. Oh, my gosh. Doesn't, don't things taste so much better out of the inner city mug? I, I, find, I find that's true. Um, so go ahead and the link, I am going to put that in the chat right now. Uh, please go ahead. And it's not that we make a profit on this. We don't. But it's really nice to have our name out there and uh, we want people to enjoy well uh, the in the comfort of their home memories from inner city. All right, so at this point now I am going to first let me put this in the chat, I am 
going to call up our host from team two, who is, da, 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 come on up, host of team two. Hello. Brian Sebi. Did someone just delete someone from team two? Because I see one last name that I had a second ago. Um, but right now for team two, we have Sandy Handley from San Francisco, California. Hey. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. David Hepburn from Miami, Florida. And woo, woo, woo. Laura Z Zaro from San Francisco, California. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. I know that these people. Uh, so this is your second team, and please take it away. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, wait, there's woo, woo, woo. sorry, and your timekeeper is Nelson. Go, Nelson! Woo! Nelson Morgan. Should okay. we get a suggestion? Disneyland. Okay, is uh, David Hepburn still here? Uh-oh. Hey, David. No? Come on, David. Come on. Do you want me to grab someone from Team 4 in case David comes yeah, back? Yeah, that would be great. Let's get yeah. someone from okay. Team 4 over here. And as a pinch hitter is going to be uh, Tanya from San Cruz, California. Woo! Yeah, Tanya. Yeah. All right. The gals are going to take it away. Hmm. All right. I think did did you hear and, Disneyland, Laura? Disneyland did not hear that. Thank you. What? Oh my! <laughs> Thanks hey. for bringing us, Mom. Oh, anytime, girls. I know. I know you've been asking for Disney World for so many years, and I just, I really wanted to make your sweet 16 no, no. <laughs> Oh man, I think I've had way too much funnel cake. I think I had a little too much cotton candy. <laughs> and I think I went on too many rides. Oh, oh, uh, mommy, 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 can, can we go, can we go on Space Mountain a seventh time? I'll go with Not you. We're I'll go with you, T. I'll go with you. Oh, I really, I really like the part where it spins and then you throw up. That's the good part. <laughs> yeah, the best part about sitting in the front row of the roller coaster is everybody else gets wet and we stay dry. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. Do I have to go? Oh, no. Oh. No, I'm Marcia. Uh -huh. You don't want to ride. We can let your sisters go and you and I can you know, go, go for a walk or we can go back on that duck tour and do something a little bit more your speed. Well, well I, I wanted to do the duck tour. Oh, well, you could take pictures. Just wait for us to do the ride one more time and we'll go on the duck tour with you too. I think mom wants to go on the duck tour with me. Oh. I really do. Goodness. I've thrown up on Space Mountain so many times today. It's just, when I brought you all to Disney World, I thought, I thought you were old enough to enjoy the amusement park the way it's meant to be enjoyed. But you're just as rambunctious you, as you were when you were little. T, you and I are gonna go for a ride. We're gonna leave mom and Marsha behind. We've got to do whatever we can. Cause it'll be a long time before we can return. We're in Disneyland. We're in Disneyland today. We're in Disneyland. We're in Disneyland today. Right, T, oh. let's go, let's go, let's go. The front seat is empty. Woo! Time to go on Space Mountain and throw up. <laughs> you get arrested, I'm not your mother. <laughs> You'll always be our favorite mother. We finally get to audition to be Disney characters. I know, I know. Do you think they'll be okay with me going in as Jack Sparrow? I know like the gender is not, you know what I mean? There's like an issue with that, but I figured if I had the hat, I could maybe do it. What do you think? Oh, it's a bold choice. I mean, think so? a lot of the costumes have those big 
you know, heads that cover. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like, dude, I'm so excited. I also got this. Um, I don't know how this relates to pirates, but like, I figured I would just try it. Just like some of this stuff right here. I mean, no, just, like, like that. What do you think? Is that a chain of gold coins? That's like pirate booty all the way. I <laughs> think you're so pirate. You don't even recognize booty. You're just surrounded by no, it. Not at all. I never recognize booty. Never, never, never. It could be booty could be right in front of my face. It could be stenched. And I just, I have no idea where it is. Yeah. You know what? You are going to do amazing in your audition. I just know it. I've always wanted to be Snow White. You've got this. You are definitely going to be Snow White. You're perfect for the role. All my life, I've wanted to be that. Girl, you got it. You're gonna be a princess. Girl, you got it. You're gonna get the riches. You got the apple, the short hair, and the poison. You need an evil queen to make it into hoisin sauce. See, I rhymed it there. Yes, I rhymed it there. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. You're a princess, yeah. You're a princess, yeah. Yeah, girl. You're gonna get all the little kids posing. Oh my God, it's so white. That's got your name on it. That's got your name on it. I mean, I'm telling you, you're gonna get the part. You're just, you're giving me more confidence, but I, oh, those other princesses, they're, they're just okay. so symmetrical and poised. Okay. You don't to glamour school or anything like that. You, you practically grew up a pirate. No, Sweet. no, 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 dude, dude, dude. Look. Sweet. <gasps> Leslie. What are yes, you, Maggie. What are you doing here in Disneyland? You called in sick today. Oh, um, well, I got better really quickly. I mean, it was just like a little morning stomach bug. So you called in sick. You're getting sick pay, and here you are in Disneyland. <laughs> you got the nail on the head, or however they say that. <laughs> remember you for the bar last night you were dancing on the bar stop you are a down girl i'll see you tomorrow you were at a uh, bar last night leslie uh, uh, well that's probably a part of the reason why i had a little stomach thing going on this morning it didn't last long though <laughs> i'm so much better okay Th this can't go on I, do you know that i haven't had a day i haven't had to take a day off in a year and a half and you take off so many days and I have to do your work. Maggie, just take off a day. I mean, just live a little, fling it up. Kick it, kick it. I can't. I... Well, Maggie, but I... you can do it. Oh, Maggie, you can do it gotta live a little to get on through it now Maggie 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 you can do it I have a lot of responsibilities I have a husband and five kids at home I have to go to work and make my money I can't just go around and play all day I know that for you it's not so bad. You like Maggie. to have fun, but you're making me sad. I know Maggie, you, you want me to have fun, but Maggie, 
I just can't. Sing it with me. Maggie, you can do it. No, I can't. Maggie, you can do it. I don't think I can. Just fling your feet up in the air. Call in sick like you don't have a care. Cause Maggie, you can do it. I'd really like to try. Maggie, you can do it. It sounds like fun. You can do it. Maggie, call in tomorrow and just take a sick day. Woo! I will. <laughs> Sweet. Start planning that dream trip. Soon you'll be. Hey, honey! Ready. Honey! Uh, I, I'm. What are you doing? I'm reading. I'm reading. What are you reading, sweetheart? That's a new book. Yes. Huh. Can you see it, Auntie? It's called Everything I Need to Know I Learned from a Little Golden Book. Oh, that's sweet. Hey, um. You're not planning a surprise 
trip for our anniversary, are you? Well, hmm. the first page I opened to, I opened in the middle of the book. Uh -huh. It says, start planning that dream trip. Oh, well, 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 the reason that I bring it up is because I hope you didn't get tickets or anything, because I, uh, I may have gotten you a gift for our 10 year. <sighs> Mom, I found these tickets. What are these for? Jack, Jackie, Jackie, go, go, go into the kitchen. Go into the kitchen. Go are into we the finally going to take that dream vacation we always talked about? Look, it's tickets to Disneyland. We're going to Disneyland. That will bring us together. Kids. We're going to Who's Disneyland. Your mom's prize, kids. You spoiled your mom's prize. Oh, why, why? Kids. Adventure and bring us back together. Oh, kids. Family adventure and bring us back together. Why did I have kids? Family adventure and bring us back together. Have kids, they said. Old and young. Back together. Kid, this is my dream come true. I'm going there with you and you. And you. We're going for travel. We're going for fun. And it's going to be wonderful for Travel to Disney. Going? Going to Disney to travel. Going. I tried to keep it a secret, but my kids really suck because I tried to keep it a secret for my wife. I thought it would be really romantic, but my kids, they suck. They had to go and say what happened. My kids, they suck. I tried to make it romantic, but these little kids, they suck. I guess we're going to Disneyland. And scene! Wow, that team was amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Um, what I'm going to do now is uh, we have a sketch tonight that I am going to bring up for you. And we haven't had a sketch in a while. So this is from an improviser in San Francisco and somebody that I know personally. So um, it's my pleasure to show you Neptune's Mercy. Okay, so let me share that right now. What exactly is the nature of your emergency? Ooh, oh, let shit. me start right out there from the beginning. That's much better. Hello, search and rescue. I must at sea, you have to help me. All right, sir, old man, try to remain calm. What exactly is the nature of your emergency? I'm shipwrecked. <laughs> Uh-oh. We can't hear you. Laura, we lost audio. There have been some technical difficulties. Oh, Please stand by. Ride vehicle will continue moving as soon as the problem is resolved.
there will be a sketch replacement service. Oh, I heard a ring. Here we go. Oh, that's Is that better? Traps are made. Can't see it. <laughs> the visual is temporarily disconnected, but if you remain patient, it will be fixed. Knock, knock. Who's there? The one you love. Call it. <laughs> Hello, Sir Joel Rescue. I'm lost at sea. You have to help me. All right, sir. Oh, ma'am. Try to remain calm. What exactly is the nature of your emergency? I'm shipwrecked. Adrift. At Neptune's mercy. <gasps> How perilous. I'm the only one who made it to the life raft. I watched my spouse get swept overboard, followed oh. by my son, and my grandmother, and my other grandmother, and my Uncle Basil. Oh, that sounds like everyone you loved. Call and search or rescue was definitely the right thing to do. I need someone to immediately come and help me. I'm no meteorologist, but those clouds look like trouble. All right, sir, oh ma'am, I am happy to help. I just need to know if you want search or rescue. Yes. I'm in a life raft with a storm on the horizon. I need you to find me and come and get me. Search or rescue? Yes, search and rescue. Search or rescue? Yes, search and rescue. Search or rescue? Yes, search and rescue. Oh. You want search and rescue. Well, I'm sorry, sir or ma'am. This is search or rescue. <laughs> Search and rescue is two things. It's very expensive. We don't have it here. That's crazy. I need search and rescue. Well, I'm sorry, sir or ma'am. We are not trained for both. You have to choose one. Fine. Oh, I can't believe this. If I choose rescue, I, I can be safe at home with an electric blanket. But if I choose search, then it'll, it'll become a news story and everyone will know I, I can't sail. What's going to be then, sir or ma'am? There are other people in emergencies trying to call in. Oh, but if I choose search, uh, this will all be like a bad dream. Oh, but if I choose rescue, uh, I'll get kicked out of the yacht club. Time's up. Oh, rescue, rescue. I'll take rescue. Oh, Uncle Basil's a strong swimmer. Very good. Now, where are you? I don't know. <laughs> I'm shipwrecked adrift at Neptune's mercy. Well, I can't send out a rescue party if I don't know where they're going, can I? That's irresponsible. Gah, forget it. Uh, I changed my mind. Send out a search party. Search. All right, got it. I'll dispatch a helicopter right away. Oh, thank you. It'll fly out in a good luck pattern until it finds you. Return to base and then I'll let you know where you are. With any luck, it'll only take about three hours. Three hours? Oh, th th those clouds are bigger, darker, and more troubling. I can go on break if you need a minute to decide. Oh, no, 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 oh, oh, hey, you know what, the, the, the stars are starting to come out, and, well, I'm no astronomer, I, I think I can uh, figure out my approximate coordinates. <laughs> Way to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Oh, I'm in, uh, oh, 25 degrees north, and, oh, this is 71 degrees west. All right, sit tight, help is on the way. Oh, thank you, thank you, Neptune Speed. I, I did it. I felt the icy caress of death and I shook it off. <laughs> Fate reached out and I beat it back. I'm indomitable. I will live to see another day. Mr. Jones was never seen again. Nor were Rescue Crew 238. <laughs> I'm lost too. <laughs> Help. <laughs> hey. Getting dark. I guess it must be getting to be later in the night here where I am. I know where some of you are. It's already dark, but we're just going to our sunset now. All right. What I'd like to do now is call up our host of Team Three. So come on up, Michael. All right. There he Hello. is. Hey. Woo, Michael, Michael, Michael. Coming up is Team Three, the last, sorry for the shaking here, 
the last non-musical team of the evening. When I call your name, go ahead and turn on your camera. We've got Cassie Eford from Tucson, Arizona. Woo! Greg Little from Berkeley, California. Yay! Dave Slovin from New York. Woo! 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 Olivier from Nevada City, California. Woo! 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 Donna Paul from Newburgh, Oregon. Yeah! Elkie TV from New York, New York. Yeah! Your timer, in fact, will be me. When you see me pop on, that means roughly two minutes last scene. So make well, I... it count. Go ahead, Team 3. Woo! Uh, was my I name mentioned? I don't... Yes, Don what Sullivan from New York. Oh, okay, good. You're welcome. Did we get a suggestion? To... Magnify. Okay. I heard magnify. Magnify, magnify. thank you. Magnify. Thank you. I heard it. You hear it? It's like... It's like really like echoing super loud. <laughs> I, I I don't know if I can work under these conditions. That that <sighs> it's, you hear that? It's your it's your lack of it's your lack of rock concert going to just if you uh, yeah you did okay. this was we argue about this as kids and you're like I'm gonna like save my hearing and that'll make it nice as an adult. But now look at you, you're all suffering because of the noise and I Rock concert goer. So what are you are you are you basically saying that because I care about my hearing, I suffering and because you don't and you have poor hearing that you're better than me? No, better. No, I this is not a value judgment. I, I just mean that my life experience is better. I, <laughs> I you hear about, less. Okay. I hear less of the bad sounds that it pervade. Uh -huh. The current environment, all of these mag tag out, tag out, Elky, tag out. Elky. What I'm trying to tell you is you've done a terrible job, and you're fired. I am hired. Oh, this, thank <laughs> God, I was. I I thought I already was hired, but now, David, but David, read my lips, David. We're friends for a long time, but you can't work here anymore. Uh, tag out, Michael. Huh? Oh, honey, we're going to have a boy, the first one in the family a of this generation, a boy, yeah. A what? We're going to have a boy, a little baby boy. We're going to have a toy? Oh, goodness, it's <laughs> good that we have a, a toy. I was afraid that we were going to have like a, a, a child. Goodness, I'm not prepared for that. <laughs> yeah, sweet. Honey. Sweet. Oops, shit. Tag out. Oh, whoops. Um. So oh, what? Yeah, whoops. Yeah, oh no, I don't know. I just I just popped in to say hello. <laughs> hi, how are you? Oh, hi. Hey. So do you do you uh do these chats often? Uh this is my first time. Yeah. Oh, oh it is? Oh yeah. good. Because it's it's mine too. I it's mine. Oh uh, man, I he, you you wouldn't believe the other uh, chats that I had to scroll through. <laughs> Some of oh, them were right? naked. Some of them were naked, and I'm I'm really excited that you're not. <laughs> Boy, I'm I, not ready for that. I don't know why people would do that. It's just it seems so. Oh, well, oh. Hey, hey, hey um, I'm just the the chat monitor, and I just want to let oh. you know that you guys are at a seven point five. So just letting you know, doing a seven. great job, but keep it up, keep up the good work. Okay. Right. They're watching I have no us. Idea what the, that means. The, the monitor, one of the way I it was a, a monitor, monitor. I wanted to let the monitor know. Um, if you're still here, monitor, you're at like a 5.7. Can um, fails, uh, but you're doing well. Don't worry. Your monitor, we, we were, okay. yeah, yeah, we were. Oh, no, he's talking to the, the he moderator, was, he wasn't he was talking, talking to, to me. Us. Yeah, he was yeah. talking to me. Oh, and I'm sorry. Don't... Yeah, don't worry, people. You can continue your conversation. This is the modern. Can we? Moderator. I don't think we, so. Because <laughs> we would like, it was, if it's possible, it's sort of. Yeah, can you guys get another room? I mean, you're the chat moderator. You could moderate yeah, I, another room. I just wanted to too. say. We're when, moderators, but we. Uh, Reap and bring in Michael. So... And what? Sweep oh. and bring in Michael. John, I just, you know, you told me I could use this computer, but the small print is so small, I cannot read it. Um, you just need to read it. We 
scale, it's like negative one. Okay. Mom, I'll read it for you. Gmail from, I don't want to do this, mom. Yeah, no, I don't think that's advisable. I don't think you want to read what your dad wrote. That wouldn't be good. But could you <laughs> my font a little, you know, larger? Yes, mother. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I know I have to pay you to do this, but <laughs> you know, I just will take it out of out of uh, his allowance. Venmo, mother. Venmo as usual. Do you want venom? Venmo, mother, or PayPal. I also take Bitcoin. I don't have any pals that pay me, honey. I'm sorry. Hey, mom. Um, yeah. da Dad just texted me, and he really, he really wants you, uh, wants us to read out this letter that he wrote to you. It's going to be a little awkward. I'm, I can go ahead and read it. If oh dear, are you sure that it's legal to do that? Over Absolutely. This read it, Rachel. Okay, I'm going to read it. Okay, okay, Mike. Okay. Oh, baby, I love, I loved what you wore Saturday night. Oh, my goodness, mom. Oh, this feels very awkward. Uh, the way that you glistened and walked across the room was amazing, like our honeymoon. Oh, my goodness. Mom. You no, know, Rachel, that is really above your grade. I think oh. that you should delete that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, it, the next yeah. thing he says is so small. That you don't know. It says, oh, baby. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's so nice from that. No more, <laughs> Rachel. I can't take. Oh. All right. <laughs> right well, the repairman is here. I'm going to have him read the, the uh, small print because apparently you two are too busy. Sweep, bring oh. in the whale. Okay, so uh, let me just hear her one more time, your heart. Let me hear. So, so, uh -huh. Love them. Love okay, them. very good. Ears, ears, ears. Okay. Let me just check your ears. So, so, say ah, ah. Ah. Uh, no, let me see your ears and say ah. At the same time? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I see problem. I see problem. Uh, problem is you have peace in your ears. Peace? Like a gun? No, no, you have peace in your ears. Like <laughs> world peace? You a peace? Yes. <laughs> je, je, yes. Everything you say is true. Yes. Uh huh. Everything I say is true. Are you telling me that it will be true? Like I should worry about what I say because it might happen. Well, you know, uh, interesting. You come to a doctor that's also a fortune teller. Uh, freeze. Yeah, you're freeze. so talented, but freeze. also freeze. Tag out the whale. Free. Oh. So, uh, you, yeah, you, you were brought before this board uh, because of some of your practices. Um, oh, I, you dabble in the spiritual arts, and you do this in your practice. Oh, well, uh, one, uh, one hand uh, he helps the me. other. He huh? spiritualized me. Oh, you brought him along with you to the board. Oh, oh well, he, he, I, 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 I evoked. I can't derail it because of his actions. I'm just in okay. public here. Yes. I, thought, I thought it was public. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, it's very so, public. Right. Um, aside from the art. You see uh, how I make people disappear? Art. You see how that happened? Yes. I made him appear yes. to disappear. I'm still here. I'm just the, I'm uh, just see, the huh? All right. Uh, can I'm... I have some order? Can I have some order, right. please? Uh, pizza? Thank you, thank you want pizza? I also make pizza. My goodness. <laughs> Your license is revoked. Can you hear that? that? I heard it. I heard it. My license is revoked? You oh, you saw that. Okay, I, you heard it. All I right, can't. Yes. I can't work with no license. I, I must have license. I have, I have, I have wife, many children. I, I have grandchildren. I have mouths to feed. I have, I have child needs sneakers. You're, you're okay. empathetic yeah, character, but no we all do. All right, sir. The whale. Uh, you have the T-shirt. I'm assuming that's your name, the whale. Uh, can you please uh, sit down, sir? Because we, uh, we, we are having a board 
right now. We're conducting a board I, to, to speak on if he will keep his license. I, I haven't made a decision yet. I just wanted to get your attention because everything was happening and nothing was happening. I thought, you understand <laughs> what I'm saying? That's like, that's like thought. I, you made me so excited because you did revoke his license. And you're you're you still talking, sir. I'm so sorry. I have to address the doctor. You okay. have diagnosed your last 20 patients with vegetables in their ears. Uh, uh, Mr. Whale, Mr. Whale, uh, uh, yeah. tell Judge how good I am. I'm very good. Huh? I, you, you, you make you, a you testimonial. Misunderstand, you misunderstand my presence here. I yes, he said he's against you. With your, with yes. your so-called cures, the vegetable practically did... Your license is revoked. Worse things to my ear than when it began. I, Z zoom in to the, uh, the vegetables in the whale's ears. Oh. Oh my God! I think that they, I think that they, they they're on to us. They know we're here. Yeah, they know, they know we're here. here. What kind of? I thought these were. You know, guys, there's a lot of wax in this place. I, I like wax. He's a nice guy. I'm almost Sweet. through here. I'm almost through. Sweet. Sweet. My Sweet. Sweet. Darling, I love you in those. Right? I was, I've been wearing them all day, been in your face all day. This is the first time you notice it at 10 o'clock at night. I've been wearing them all freaking day, honey. I just noticed them now. I just noticed them and they look fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. But I, I they were fantastic at 9 a.m. when I kissed you goodbye. And I was in your face just like this. You don't notice me. I had to snap to literally get you to look at me. You're right. Of course you're right. I'm so sorry. I didn't, I didn't get your attention. I like you to see me crying. Oh my goodness. I can't think any worse of you than I do right now. Oh. Our marriage is not working, honey. This is proof. Don't, don't say it, Janelle. Don't say it to me. I gotta say it, Ricky. It's not working. I, I, I'm suffocating. What if I, I what if I, what if I noticed everything the first time? Why did you just do that the first time? <laughs> I don't know. Why I'm stupid. I know. Hey, hey, mom, dad. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't mean to interrupt you, but I just need the Netflix password. Mm hmm. Is is our wedding date? Okay. Our anniversary. Oh yeah, the third of the third month and the fourteenth day. Yes. Yeah, I remember it. Yes. Thanks, mom. Yes. <laughs> See, look what it's doing to our child. She's broken up. You see no, what's I... tearing her up inside? You see what's doing to our family? It's, it's me. It's all me. It's my fault. Hey, parents, oh. I, uh, my video game, I need, I need money in order to like pass the level. <laughs> money code. He needs the Venmo password, Mom. That's right, the Venmo password. <laughs> the Venmo password is is ignore your spouse, all lowercase, oh. most cases. All right, is this like a Freudian thing? Slip? I it seems kind of. I don't, I don't know. I don't know that how. Password. I'm sorry, I won't judge it. I uh, that worked. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Hey, Mom. Hi, Dad. Um. We wouldn't have like the password to the defibrillator, do you? Don't ask questions. <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now, honey. Is it? We have so many damn kids. So many. I know. It's, it's the know. kitchen defibrillator, Mom. Is that the right? Is that the right one? Okay, I'll, I'll try oh, that one. Goodness. I'll try that one. 
I'm just not sure why why a little David is playing with the defibrillator, but I don't have the energy for it. Why is he? Why does he have one? Why? Oh, oh no. That are those sound good. I are those gunshots or squishy intestine sounds? I guess they I guess they have the password to the gun safe already. <laughs> oh. oh. Edit, edit. Edit yourself. Oh, edit yourself. Oh, just, just swipe right. Swipe right. Swipe right. Okay, okay, okay. I'm hurrying. Okay. Swipe right. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm doing this the right way. I keep seeing the same picture every single time I swipe. I know. We each only have one picture in our zone. It's just like crazy. This we shouldn't listen to that dating coach. Maybe we should really like look at the profile and read it instead of just swiping right does on that, everybody. Does that maybe we're just good for each other and we shouldn't even go any further? Yeah. What well, cost me three thousand dollars for this service? Wow. <laughs> Mine was like only ten bucks a month. Wow. <laughs> I feel like we had different salespeople. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It doesn't matter. I think I think we're um you know uh, compatible, no? Oh, as long as you like cats, that's all that really matters. I, I like cats for breakfast. Hi, I'm sorry. I'm the new oh. moderator and oh. um yes yeah. and yes. I, I know you were swiping in a chat. But you were here, yes. and I want to say that you are doing great, okay? Uh, I brought in incense. Oh, You can't <laughs> smell it because uh, it's here with I'm me. Allergic so. to it. But just know. Oh, he's, he's allergic to it, definitely to... allergic to it. Yeah. He can't <laughs> smell it. It's, a, it's over out on my end, so I, I, it's just know that, you know. Oh, I get that. Uh, sure. Um, um, who's yeah, the other guy on the line? I wanted to let you know that you're... Doing a good job, doing a, a great job. You're one of the best, one of the best moderators. Well, thank you. Uh oh, you weren't yeah, talking to me at all. Great job. That's great job, Team Three. And um, before we go to our next. Set. I would like to first of all talk about our MD tonight, who is Mark Merritt. And if you could come up and show yourself, he has been playing our music for us. He's been playing for the musical, and I hear some background music going on during the others. So if anybody is interested, now what happened? Muted yourself, Laura. Muted. I am muted. How did that happen? So um, if you look in the chat, uh, there is his PayPal and um, we've got uh, his Venmo. So please give a tip to our MD because he's been amazing. He's been playing for both our musical and our background for our non-musical sets. Um, and I'd also like, let's see, we have got one more team coming up tonight. Um, before, no, I will do this after. So um, let me get my team host for team four to come up. Oh, wait, I think that's me. <laughs> All right, it's me. All right, let me get, uh, first of all, I'll get my timer to come up. Woo, Yay, Michael! Thank you. So when you see Michael come up, you're going to come on. You're going to uh, end your set. You got two minutes left. All right. I would like to have our amazing team four come up. Uh, this is a musical set. We have David Hepburn from Miami, Florida. Woo! Jennifer Prescott from Norwalk, Connecticut. Jennifer. Woo! Danelle Mayer from Fremont, California. Woo, 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 woo. Brian oh, no. Sebi from Wheaton, Illinois. Brian, Brian, Brian. And Nelson Morgan from Oklahoma City. Nelson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
and we have a suggestion. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Apple juice. Apple juice. Thank you. Apple, Apple juice. Thank. Thank you. Mm. Best thing about the fall. Best thing. You're drinking it again. It's the fall. It's apple juice time. You know, you are full of apple. Well, drunk enough, I suppose, at this point to be full. And seeds. Well, don't think they put seeds in it. I mean, it's just... No, uh, you, yeah. You've already drank them. Well, I mean, even if there are seeds in there, it's not like it's going to be fatal or anything. I mean, they're just seeds. Hey, uh, you know, Brian, could I interest you in some uh, pumpkin juice? <laughs> seeds included? Pumpkin juice? That sounds intriguing. Please. Oh, you have no idea. Pumpkin seeds are all the rage right now. Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds, all the rage right now. Pumpkin seeds, pumpkin seeds, all the rage right now. You've been sipping on that sorry apple juice. <laughs> but I got Something new for you to chew. Got the pumpkin juice. It goes down smooth. So smooth. Yeah. Got the real easy and all. It's refreshing. I can say. Pumpkin juice. Makes me want to sing. When you drink pumpkin juice around Halloween, it will end up as a mask through which you can see. Ooh. Put on that pumpkin mask. It'll make you free. Make you free. Heavy. Hmm. Any other things? Gotta forget. Hey, what is going on with our customer <laughs> survey? You're supposed to be acting like the big apple and get everybody to <laughs> get all that freaking pumpkin juice. This suit is really awkward, okay? <laughs> you! You are fine! No, you need to be right, happy. I'm gonna shove myself through the door. <laughs> here, here I am. I've been out there interviewing the public, and there's a lot of interest in goddamn pumpkin juice. And the apples, we're falling in the ratings. I. Duh. So you have to. You have to sing and dance, girl. You need to convince them. They've got all these crazy people running around in pumpkins, making pumpkin pies. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, you can make a pie out of an apple. You can make a lot of things out of an apple. Like a, a smoky thing out of an apple, even better. Smoke the apples, girl. Get them to smoke the apples. They can get hot. Oh, yeah. You gotta smoke those apples. Smoke those apples, cigarettes, get another fine. Very fine, smoke those apples. Smoke your dreams away. <laughs> Take it, apple girl! Apples are delicious. Oh, 
the apple of my eye. That you praise, I know. You are the apple of my eye. Take it from stem to seed and make sure the leaves you don't swallow. If you don't have your own to proceed, then our friends you must borrow. But smoke pass, smoke pass, and don't say I owe you tomorrow. Oh, it's the smoking game. It's the smoking game. All you need is an apple to play in. That's the name. So you just roll that apple in that skin. And then you put it in your lips and light it again. And as you, <laughs> as you take it in. smoking game once you smoke you know the name the apple game is the smoking game and once you smoke you know the name oh. Oh, smoke, oh, smoke. we can always play that game oh yes, oh, yes. I've done it I've created the perfect <laughs> apple. Ah, yes. You see, the golden honey crisp, the galactic, those are all old news. This 
get us on the map. Oh, I'm going to be on the map. I'm going to be on the map. It's a talking apple. I am your creation at your service, sir. I see you've you've scared Jennifer so much she's frozen in fear. Oh. Frozen in fear, frozen in fear. Half pumpkin, half apple I am. <laughs> pumpkin spice wasn't enough. Now we've got pumpkin apple. <laughs> but you see. It's time for bed. My prince, my king, young gift. It's time for bed, little apple. Okay, so, okay, I'll take my nap, sir. I follow you, sir. Anything you say, sir. But tomorrow we take on the world. No, no, little apple, do not leave me. No, no, leave. Oh, we take on the world tomorrow. Yes. Yes. And you see, little apple. Yes. You will be my finest creation ever. <laughs> For they shall know the name. Little apple, you are so dear to me, little apple. That's why I named you Calamity, Calamity Apple. You will help me destroy the earth. dream that apples and pumpkins can come together <laughs> that the orchards of life can be right for us all hey are we gonna are we gonna call them pumples pumples or i like atkins or atkins i believe we're gonna call them ampkins ampkins okay. <laughs> i have a confession to make i was born both pumpkin and Apple, I brought a dancer as an interpreter to speak on behalf of both the apples, as you see, and on behalf of the pumpkins, so that we all can be brought together in the harvest of goodwill. All we need is a catchphrase to overcome this calamity. All we need is a catchphrase. To bind us all together. This is a simple catchphrase. <laughs> and we can be one pumpkin apple, a pumpkin, pump, apple, pumpkin pie. <laughs> <laughs> be 
like to do now is to ask if there's anybody out there who would like to promote something that's going on that they're involved with coming up in the near future. If so, come on up. Oh, not all at the same time, just one at a time. Come. <laughs> no. All right. That this is a miracle. Oh, okay. Well, that was weird. That was there's weird. Nobody, nobody promoting anything other than me. That's weird. I knew you'd be here, though. I had, uh -huh. I had confidence. I knew you'd be here. Go on. Tell us what you're doing. Well, uh, two things, actually. The Vintage Improv Festival Tuesday Jam and Class, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, also, if anybody is in uh, New York, actors in New York, on November 18th or 20th, I have a very special Jam Prov. And I will pay you pennies. How much? Pennies. <laughs> Not <laughs> many pennies, but pennies. That's all. Uh, uh, PM me uh, for either of those. Uh, the number you already know how to get into the Vintage Improv Festival thing. Okay, ciao, ciao. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thanks, Don. Anyone else? Okay, Michael. I'm going to take a moment to promote this book, Two Worlds at the Same Time by Joy Corey. It is an improv book. Uh, she teaches a style of improv, which she calls full spectrum, but it doesn't just focus on comedy. And besides being an excellent teacher, if you're in the Bay Area, Berkeley, uh, she also does online storytelling classes. And if you buy the book, the bonus is there's photographs taken by me in here. So Woo! Fun. Otherwise, that's it. Thank you. Woo! All right. Thank you. Thank you, hey. Michael. Hey. Anyone else? This is your chance. If not, I am going to ask all of the people who have volunteered this evening to come on up and to thank them for their volunteer work. Woo! Yeah! Yay. Woo, 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 woo! Thank you. Yay. Woo! Oh, an apple. All right, woo. thanks. <laughs> Thanks, volunteers. And also, I'd like Mark Merritt to come up one more time to thank him for his wonderful music playing. Woo! Thank you. Go, Mark, go, Mark, 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 Mark. I really appreciate that. And again, his, his tip jar is in the chat if you'd like to send him a little tip. All right. And right now, at this point, I am going to share this with you. And. This is what's coming up in the future. So we've got uh, a few on October 10th. We have Formal Bonfire coming up as our headliner. On October 17th, we have Portmont, Portman 2. And that's from uh, Philadelphia. And then on October 24th, from Austin, Texas and London, we have Crate. And now, Tonight, we have three amazing improvisers. We've got Jen Bianchi, 
We've got Claire Bidiscombe. We've got Roxy in Burnett Brigade. So can I have the, Br Ooh. the Burnett Brigade come on up? You said my name right, Laura. I'm Thank amazed. You. Thank you. Hello, everybody. We are Burnett Brigade. Uh, I am Claire. I'm in Ottawa, Canada. Want to go around and introduce yourselves? Yeah, I'm Jen Bianchi, and I'm in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Ooh. And I'm Roxy. I'm in Virginia. Woo! <laughs> Yay! Uh, and we met at uh, or out of Queen City Comedy in Charlotte, North Carolina. So shout out to Queen City Comedy. Boop, boop. Um, so we're going to do a set for you. Uh, and in order to start the set from somebody who is hanging out in the background in the Zoom room with us, uh, can we please get a word? Xylophone. Xylophone. Perfect. Thank you. Thank All right. You. Renette Brigade presents Xylophone. Xylophone. <laughs> Hun? Hun? Yeah, mom. I, I, think I think you've practiced enough for tonight. Mom, you only become a master when you've done eight hours of consecutive work and practice and just making sure I had to get into, I'm, Mom, I'm still trying to be one with my instrument, okay? <laughs> Joelle, Joelle, you know I'm so, so proud of you for taking up the trombone. Uh -huh. and, and for going for marching band, but Joelle, the neighbors are starting to complain. Well, it's a good thing because, you know, Sometimes I don't hear anything from them and I worry and I think they're dead. So it's a good thing that they're alive. It's a good thing I'm here, mom, PSA. I, <laughs> you, honey, you are the light of my life, Joelle. You know that, but Joelle, my hair is turning gray by the day. And Joelle, it's just, you're not very good at that trombone, honey. <gasps> That's not the point, mother. The point is to be one with the music and sound and energy and waves. It doesn't matter about good or bad, okay? Edit. Han? Han? Yeah, Mom? I think you've practiced enough, okay? You're never gonna get good at anything you try, all right? <laughs> oh, Mom! This, the trombone is my 14th instrument. And oh. I realized that oboe and xylophone and timpani and glockenspiel were all miserable failures. But mom, I feel like brass is the place I should be. Okay, well, brass my ass, cause you're not good. You got no musical talent, my son. <laughs> all right? I told you this years ago when you tried to sing, oh, I'm never gonna get that sound out of my ears. How can you be strangling a brass instrument? <laughs> Mom, it's really simple. You just wrap your hands around it. All right. I know I'm your mother, and I'm just supposed to think that the sun shines out of your butthole, but I can't <laughs> right now. You ain't got uh, any talent that, that God gave a cricket to rub its legs together, you know? <laughs> oh, Mom. Yeah. Mom, you're always so negative. But you know what, Mom? I'm going to be a great composer one day. Oh, edit, honey. Edit, edit. Joel, here's the thing. All I think you're good for is making babies and nothing much. So, you know, you don't need an education. I'm not sending you to college. You're probably going to get married. Ah, oh, hell, I, you're not going to get married. You're just, you know what? I'm trash. And I'm always going to be trash. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm glad you see it my That's way. That's why you got me to wear this t-shirt that says trash is what trash does. And <laughs> on the back, it just says, follow me for more trash tips. <laughs> <laughs> you 
know what? It's perfect colors of the correctional system. So I know, I know. One of these days, I'm going to be somebody's bitch. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's really, that's really setting your sights high, sweetheart. But you know oh, what? Yeah, you're right, Mama. Nobody's going to want to hold my pocket. No, you're right. <laughs> you're right. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah. I still love you. I still love you because even you though I'm I'm a horrible, horrible person yeah. that brings nothing but disappointment to your life every waking moment. <laughs> I got that tattooed right here, so I never forget it. And it's <laughs> children, you must feel the music truly moving through your souls. The recorder is a, a beautiful and an underappreciated instrument. We must breathe as one with the recorder. We must appreciate the recorder. We must blow. Finally, after six weeks of appreciating it, we finally get to blow into it. Danielle, the day has come for you to make your first sound with the recorder. Danielle, this is big. This is big. Do you want me to YouTube it? Do you do you want me to record you? Tammy, I've just never made. I, we've talked about the theory of music for so long that in my dreams it's like cherubs, and I don't. I'm afraid it's like that thing when you get so excited about Christmas and then you blow through all your Christmas presents and you don't have anything left to report for it except for a whole bunch of socks and wrapping paper that I'm just going to be disappointed if I ever play. Oh, Danielle, disappointment is part of an artistic career. Oh. Know that you are starting well. We got a shot then. Wait a minute. Will I also do nothing but compare my wins and losses to my best friend, Kimmy? Yes. Yes, that is the sign that you have truly made it as an artist when you judge yourself not by the quality of your own work, but judge it against that of your friends. <laughs> Danielle, Danielle, just throw it away. Just throw it away. Just be one with the recorder without recording anything. Kimmy, you don't understand. This could be my chance. How many people have gotten out of this town playing this recorder? There's only one way to get out of this spotlight podunk town, and it's to make beautiful music with these seven holes. <laughs> Danielle. Hello. Edit it. Edit Elaine Kimbler. Well, hey, girl. I didn't know you got back into town. Oh, oh, Bridget, Bridget. Yeah, are you no. trying out that? Are you trying out that? Uh, that uh, that that uh, that, uh, that that brew well, before yeah, you buy no, it? I, you know, just things of uh, you, just just stocking out for the kitchen. You you understand? You're not working here at the Stop and Save, are you? Bridget, Bridget, you have to promise not to tell a soul, okay? Well, it's just... I, I would, but everyone loves Bridget for her hot gossip. I thought I'm... you were going out to be a big Hollywood star. I know, Bridget, and I was, and I, I, I had a lot of auditions in Hollywood, but Bridget, Mark left me, and he, he left me high and dry, and I didn't know what to do, so I came home. Okay. Well, just because a man left you doesn't mean that you need to tuck tail and run. You're a strong, independent woman who's very talented. I remember watching you as little orphan Annie in the third grade. Now she's blown away by your gumption. Well, You're trying to tell me that a man made you quit your, your dream? Well, Bridget, it wasn't so much the man made me quit my dream as I couldn't pay the rent anymore. You understand? L.A., L.A., they charge you an arm and a leg and a couple of toes in the bargain for, for an apartment. So you're going to let somebody talk you out of your dream? I always looked up to you in middle school. I always thought you were the coolest girl around. 
But you know what? Everybody's got to everybody's got to learn from mistakes. So what are you learning from this mistake? Well, Bridget, I've learned that there's dish soap in aisle five. Thank you so much. Edit, edit. Oh, mm, which finger do you think though? Like I'm willing to give up my thumb and my pinky, but nothing more. Oh, oh, darling, you have to understand the thumb and the pinky, that's just small potatoes. This season, people are going for the thumb, the pinky, the pointer to the second joint, and most of the ring. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, I need that in my life. Just giving, oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. I think I can handle that. Oh, Alicia, I, where would I be without you to tell me the latest trends? I don't want to be a nobody in Oklahoma. <sighs> well, you understand, Clarice, yeah. simply that everybody is a nobody in Oklahoma. Mm. And it's just a matter of being a nobody that everybody wants to know. That, oh. That is so beautiful. Yes, with my 20 year high school reunion coming up, yes. I need to read the bottom. I need to be like, who was that? Oh, oh, perfect. Oh. And darling, and darling. Eloise, yes. Yes, we must talk about that hair. It simply must go. Okay, all right, I'm shaving it. I'm shaving it tomorrow. Yes, flawless. Oh. Awesome, flawless. great. And we'll be nobodies. Nobody. Simply should, nobodies. Oh my God. And should, okay. Oh, uh, you know what? The whole hobo look is also in right now. Very baggy. I'm just going to come in in a trash bag. Oh, but let's not make too much in the way of unfortunate social commentary. You understand. We don't look down upon people here. Oh, okay. 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 Just ourselves. I think just we look ourselves. down upon ourselves. Okay, I'm just gonna wear my failure on my like sleeve men. I'm just gonna say, look at me. I haven't done anything since middle school. Mm. Mm. I wanna be me. Beautiful, flawless. Clarice, you're a star. You Call are. me. I will. Oh. Oh, I'm so glad y'all are here. Oh, <laughs> I was afraid I was gonna have to walk in by myself. Oh. I get so nervous at these things, you know? I just, what did you make for the, uh, for the, for the PTA bake sale? I, uh, I made, I panicked, I panicked, I panicked. I, I, uh, I made carrot cake squares. Um, I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know what else to do. Uh, it's, 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 oh. it, we can call them petty fours. It's fine. That's what they say in the big city. Oh, I didn't wrap them completely in frosting and then do the little carrots on the top. How will people know? I'm a failure. <laughs> it's okay. Right? It's all right. Imogene, you're always so aware of what's happening. What did you bring? Uh, well, you understand that... Um, because it's been, uh, because of my role as treasurer, I've decided I'm just doing cash and it's, it's taken a lot for me to get the float together. So uh, I, uh, I, I'm just, you know, I'm- You're I'm... selling cash at the bank sale? <laughs> well, Darla, not so much selling cash as I'm doing cash. And that's my contribution this time around. I... Oh. You're this doing cash? Want. Yeah, you know, you know, uh, making change for people. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. See, you are trying to tell me the treasurer of the PTA huh? is doing cash at the bake sale instead of baking something when you told me that everyone in the PTA was baking something. Cheryl, oh, me, Darla. <laughs> the dog got skunked again. Carla, I got, I've got the booze that we're selling to the adults. Go ahead and take two for you. Okay. Wait a minute. 
What? Did you bake anything for this damn bake sale or am I the only person who baked anything? I didn't have time. I had to go get my hair done and, you know, get some lipo out of my fingers. So I just bought booze for the adults. We can upcharge it. I have never liked baking ever since the tragic accident that took away my thumbs. Uh, and you made me bake by myself. And I ain't got no thumbs. And it. <laughs> yeah, keep playing. Yeah, you play, you play that xylophone. <laughs> Ooh, I like that it's got multiple layers and levels, like a keyboard from the 80s. Yeah. You understand this is a very special. When you talk, you ruin it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you can have your break now and talk, and I'll, I'll be less creepy. Sorry, I, I'm trying to re-enter polite society, and I figure if I pay someone, then it won't be so awkward. No, I, it's just, I feel like this dynamic of us trying to re, re-socialize each other. I'm not sure that it's it's working for me anymore, John. No, I get it, Devin. I get it. I uh, I get it. You're just so whimsical with your musicality, and I all I am really good at is making it rain. <laughs> you excel at making it rain, yeah. and club goers across the nation will benefit from your return to the party. It's been a dry spell. No one's been out there making things rain. I know that I have a valuable contribution to society. I just, I make it rain so aggressive, you know? John. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, John. <laughs> Welcome to the class of How You Make It Rain. Uh, I'll be your host today, uh, Donnie DeMarco. Thank you for coming. Listen, uh, it's real easy. All you gotta do is put out your palm, put your stacks of ones, and then just flush it out. Just, you wanna, you wanna make sure you get a good swish so that it fans all the way out. You just don't wanna let it drop. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, Sir? go ahead, go ahead, um, Katie, that's what your name tags us, go ahead, Katie. Um, sir, I, I thought I was, I thought I was signing up for cloud seeding class. Well, you understand, I, I wasn't expecting a stacks of ones, I was expecting, you know, geoengineering. You know what, uh, there's, there's, always room for you to learn how to make it rain in in geoengineering you know like don't uh, sell yourself short you can always make it rain wherever yeah 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 uh since. sorry I, I got late uh are we supposed to bring our own stacks of ones i was told the stacks of ones would be provided yeah, the stacks of ones up to up to ten dollars is provided. But if you brought more, you know what? You're ahead of the game. I like you. I like you. Yeah, you can bring your own. You know what? Because this isn't really clean money. So, I'm oh, I'm really sorry. Um, my scholarship says that I can't be involved in any money laundering. Oh, 
Okay, I see. Um, I see. Can I get a refund? You can pop in for an elective, you know, if it's if it's an elective you want. Yeah, how do we know that you're not the feds if you can't launder the money? Because I was told at uh, Johnny Tuco's college and counting, yeah. we wouldn't have to worry about entrapment. Oh, no, I, I got to disclose right off the bat. I'm an ex-fed uh, I left, uh, I know too many secrets and uh, they just take all your taxpayers money anyway. And this is all actually money from, you know, a bank. Oh, um, I think I'm just gonna take my climatology textbook and go. All right, all right, that's fine. Making it rain one day at a time. Hun? Hun? I'm right here. <laughs> you say that, and I know you're physically here, but where's your spirit? I feel like oh, you're so distant, you know? Ever since you woke up from that nap, you just haven't been the same. Shell, sweetie, yeah. if you want us to go to therapy, just ask me. <laughs> I just... I feel like you're so loving and kind and then and then you wake up after a nap and I feel like like maybe you'll forget who I am while you're sleeping. And it's just like how do I know you're thinking about me unless you're just staring at me? Like how do who do you think about when you're sleeping? Is it not me? Sometimes, yeah. What? I mean, is the dream me not all you wanted it to be? I don't know, Shell, but sometimes I just got to think about my golf swing. <laughs> I'll never be your club. I'll never. I'm just your wife, your best friend, your working business individual, because like partner, but not partner. And, and I just. Why am I not everything you always think about all the time? Because, Shell, you're an animate object. <laughs> I never thought about it like that. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I, uh, I'll start the barbecue. Okay. I got skewers. Not enough. <laughs> That's our show. <laughs> 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 That was fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, what I'd like to find out from you is what is in your future? What plans do you have? What is there anything that uh, you want to tell us about? Um, I think all of us have various things going on in our lives right now uh, in the real world, which is complicating figuring out what's going on in the improv world. Um, so I, individually, I can say I'm doing a show tomorrow at High Wire Theatre with another duo called NAFTA that I'm part of. Um, I don't know if Roxy and Jen have anything they want to plug individually. Um, I have a class that I am teaching for uh, the People's Improv Theater in New York City that starts maybe Saturday, I think. I think it starts Saturday and it's a level two in the afternoon. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have anything online because I too am starting back in person stuff. So your class is in person? No, the class is actually online. So if you have anyone who uh, wants to do some level two online, that starts uh, with People's Improv Theater. I think it's uh, thepitnyc.com. Oh, can you put that in the chat? And yeah. then also, if you could also put that on our Facebook page, because that's yeah. something that people would be interested in, I'm sure. And Roxy, what about anything? 
No, uh, I have uh, a, any personal I, secrets or no? Uh, n no, I just started a couple of new jobs. So Roxy's going to be hitting the road and getting more tennis elbow as a result of it. But uh, other than that, maybe just tune into Queen City Comedy and 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 watch Ridgely that we all play. Ridgely. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that's, that's a show. show. Yeah. We should oh, okay. that, right? <laughs> I think it's the 20th. 20th. Um, uh, you know, 22nd, 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 October 22nd. 22nd. Okay. Yeah. October 22nd. All right. Laura, so, the chat. Laura, can I ask a question? Certainly. Okay. I, that was so awesome. And I was just wondering if Queen City's Baltimore, I think, but didn't you guys say you were from Virginia and North Carolina and somewhere else? Yeah. So high wire is in Baltimore. Queen City is in Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, wonder what that Baltimore, I don't know where I got that. Okay, so my my curiosity wants me to ask, what are you in real life? Doctors, lawyers, chefs? All of those yep. things. All yeah. of those things. Uh, Claire is an amazing uh, educator for the minds of youth. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I teach high school math and computer studies and science. Okay. Uh, I teach improv applied improv and uh fun improv and then roxy is a jack of all trades yeah uh, master of none and master of none an improv teacher a dancer a chauffeur like she does everything well that's awesome thank you very much i enjoyed your set oh, thank, thank you. you so much that was great. Great. curious so Thank you. And you were talking about tennis elbow. I was thinking, oh, she's a professional tennis player. <laughs> I got it from chauffeuring, actually. Uh, it's a weird thing that uh, you can get from driving long distances. So, yeah. Oh, I had no idea. Okay. I didn't either until this year. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for playing with us. And what we're going to do now is we're going to have a line game. And you are more than welcome to stay and join our line game. And um, so let's get Michael Ostrowskis up here to introduce the line game. Hi. Thank you. Yay. So Hi. this line game is called New Emoji. And what we're gonna do is come up with slogans or catchphrases for emojis, including some that may or may not exist. So for example, say the new emoji is a banana. Mm -hmm. We just say the new banana emoji is appealing. <laughs> okay, thank you, Tanya. <laughs> So uh, let's first, in fact, this is a case for an improv, I'm asking for a food. Let's get a suggestion of a food. Common one, uncommon, doesn't matter. Watermelon. Oh, I love it. All right, the new emoji is watermelon. So if you have an idea for a slogan or catchphrase or a sales pitch, as it were, go ahead and pop on camera, I'll call on you and you can give your pitch. New emoji is watermelon. Mark. Get the new watermelon emoji. It's a smash. <laughs> Brian Sebe. Uh, the new watermelon emoji. It's good to use when things start getting salty. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. New watermelon emoji. Don Slovin. Uh, the watermelon emoji. It's really the pits. <laughs> there you go. Donna Paul. A watermelon emoji is when you've had one margarita too many. <laughs> oh, I saw somebody else pop on. Come on back. If there's two on there, that's fine. Just stay yeah, up. Yeah, you can just stay on and be queued up. Uh, Claire. Uh, the new watermelon emoji is rather juicy. Woo! Uh, cool. Nell. The watermelon emoji is city. <laughs> Thank you. I was I, in my head. I was trying to work on a seed one, and I just couldn't get there. All right. Now, something you'd find in your house that's not something in the kitchen. Bathtub. Bathtub. Okay. <laughs> the new bathtub emoji. Uh, I'll start new bathtub emoji. This idea is holding water. <laughs> Jennifer. I'm sorry, but the new bathtub emoji is really sinking in the ratings. <laughs> Laura. The new bathtub emoji is very draining. <laughs> Ryan Sevy. 
new bath emoji goes well with a bit of bubbly. Ooh. Mark? I, I don't really know whether or not you're going to like the new bath emoji because it runs hot and cold. <laughs> ah. Well. Oh, the bathtub emoji's got a, a ring about it. <laughs> All more clever than I am. <laughs> All right. Uh, how about a profession? Let's see where this goes, because I know there are some profession emojis. Dentist. Dentist, sure. The new dentist emoji. I don't know. The new dentist emoji is like pulling teeth. <laughs> <laughs> the new dentist emoji will get your kids off their smartphones. <laughs> <laughs> the new dentist emoji. <laughs> it's a gas. <laughs> Thank you, Danelle. Brian. I know I use the new dentist emoji when I want to extract the tooth from my, my opponents. <laughs> I'm Slovin. It's only good in the afternoon, you know, 2.30. Ah, uh, uh, the well. Uh, like nine out of 10 people prefer the new dentist. <laughs> <laughs> Anya. New dentist emoji. This is not a drill. <laughs> well, let's call nice. it there. Oh, no, Jennifer, take us home. Oh, the new dentist emoji. Use it with wisdom. <laughs> uh, yes! Yes! Give yourselves a hand. <laughs> Woo! That is the new emoji. And back to you, Laura. Back to me. All right, can I get everybody on? We're going to take our famous picture. All right, you make, make sure you're, like, you're all like front. Everybody. Looking good. Yeah, look, look, you know. All right. So. We're going to take a few pictures. First one, straight ahead and smile. All right. Second one, everybody look straight ahead and crazy smile. All right. And the third one, everybody dub. Everybody what? Okay. Like, yeah. Oh! <laughs> All right. Wonderful. What's going on, fellow kids? Dab or dub? I said dab. I meant dab. You know, I'm old. All right. <laughs> if you meant this has been Inner City Improv Jam. Signing off.